All right, Shalom Watawabi Wam. Welcome back to another video. I want to give all the glory and praise to the Most High Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops, the great millstone, GMS. Peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith. You know, in this video, I just want to talk about how there's always been mediators um, or middlemen uh, between the Most High and man. And um, this is a stumbling block that a lot of, uh, you know, our people, uh, I hate to get tired of saying that our people, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, especially so-called blacks, um, you know, uh, stumble over. They, they don't want to have to go through a man to get to God. I talk to God and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that's how you err in not knowing the truth uh, because there's never been just no regular, regular ass dude person just have direct access to the most high. You know, that was the purpose of establishing the priesthood. The priest, the priest act as mediators. And um, I like this guy, Charleston White. You know, I, I like him. Um, I like him. You know, so I was listening to this interview, and it's a pretty good interview. Uh, but he got to this point, and I was like, man, I just got to I gotta speak on this. So we're going to play a, a sound bite, and I'm just going to bring whatever precepts come to mind. Live with? Yeah. You don't see enough of the preacher to see the spirit of it? Hit, nah, my nigga, uh, they done got so my nigga were, nigga, they prayed the preacher over God. So my prayer was in my 20s, God, I don't want to have to go through a man to get to you. I don't want to have to go to a man to get to God. And I can pray myself. Okay. I don't want to have to go through a man to get to God. Now, what, see, this is why it's important to know what God we're talking about. Because there's many gods. Now, if you're talking about the God of the Bible, there's always been people that you had to go through to get to the Most High. First precept that's coming to mind, I'm gonna start with Luke, the first chapter. Go to Luke, the first chapter. Cause it ain't about what you want. It's your will can't overpower the will of the Most High, who you call God. But this is Luke chapter one and verse, verse 68, the point is at 70. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, the prophets since the world began. So since the world began, there has been the holy prophets, which represent the mediating factor, the, 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 the middlemen. OK, and these were men, the holy prophets are men. So the, so the Most High God spake through men since the world began, going all the way back to the time of Genesis. Okay, when you go to Genesis, the 25th chapter, when you had Rebecca, who was pregnant, who did she go see when the children were, um, you know, basically fighting in the womb? Genesis 25, 21, and, as, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca, his wife conceived and the, the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. Okay. And how did she inquire of the Lord? She went to inquire from, uh, of the Lord through what was known as seers, which were, uh, prophets, middlemen. All right, first Samuel chapter nine, verse nine, before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, come and let us go to a seer for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So there's always been seers, prophets, seers and prophets, which are the same thing, which these are the mediators. These are the, the, the priesthood mediating between the most high and man. The most high just ain't dealing with any and everybody. Oh, you talk. To, no, it ain't like that. And now. It damn sure ain't like that because you had his son, Yahweh Shai, who's the mediator that came through. He, now, he's the mediator. And in order to get to him, you have to get via the prophets. The prophets are still who, you know, Yahweh Shai is dealing with. All right, so let's go back to the video. Why would God tell the preacher something? I just got through talking to him last night and he didn't tell me nothing. So can't nobody tell me what the fuck God said. I just got through talking to God. Why he didn't tell me? Why he... So basically in his pride and rebellion, someone like me and, you know, other brothers, men of the Lord won't be able to tell him nothing. Because in his mind, I talk to God. You can't tell me about God. I talk to God. Right. See, this is a, this is the stumbling block. This is the stumbling block. As his ways are plain to the holy, so are they, so are they stumbling blocks to the wicked. He's telling you about me. And I got a direct connection to him. Come on. 
That don't make sense to me, nigga. Come on. It never made sense to me as a kid. So I always thought everybody was full of shit and bullshit, even the whole catching the Holy Ghost. I thought, yeah. All right, so how do you have a, a, a direct connection? You don't. Because you can't even acknowledge. See, this is why you got to understand and acknowledge the truth. We are the, we are the people of Israel. We are the people of the Bible, the, 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 the story. The story is about us. We are people that fell away. And we needed a savior, and the Lord raised up a savior who came to be the mediator between us and him. All right? And the Lord sent up prophets to teach us the way, men of the Lord, to teach us the way back to the most high through him. There's an there's order to this thing. And the order is a part of the stunt, is a you know, it's a part of the, 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 the vetting process, it's, and it's also a stumbling block as well. So when you when you look at Paul's epistles, he, he referred to Yahweh Shah as the mediator, right? multiple times Galatians Timothy Hebrews so I'm gonna get Galatians Galatians uh no we'll get first Timothy 2 and 5 for there is one God and one mediator between God and men the man Christ Jesus it says which in the Hebrew is Mashiach Yahweh that's the true names the true titles right Mashiach Yahweh all right, so I'm going to read that again. 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God, that one God name is Yahweh. That's the name of the Most High, Yahweh. And one mediator between God and men, the man of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's the mediator. Let's look up mediator. 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 A person who mediates, especially between parties at variance. See, and who are the parties that were at variance? The children of Israel and the Most High God, Yahweh, they were at variance. Why? Because the Most High God, Yahweh, delivered the children of Israel, right? Took them into uh, what the, uh, took them into the wilderness, you know, did the 40 days, the 40 nights, had Moses come up, you know, the, the, the whole, um, uh, had the children of uh, Israel go into the covenant, you know, agree, right? Say that we'll be your people. We'll, we'll keep these law statutes and commandments and what happened? They broke them continuously, broke them continuously, broke them continuously, rebel, right? Worship idols, which put children of Israel at, at variance with the Most High. The Most High sent his son to be the mediator, to be the in-between. Yahweh Shah was perfect in the law. He fulfilled the law and he gave his life. He gave his, um, his he sacrificed his own life and, um, you know, uh, and, and his blood covers um, the elected nation of the children of Israel um, to bring back to the Father, right? Well, the whole the whole nation is covered in general, um, but through on this side you have the children of Israel that's going to be covered by His blood. So He's the mediator. So He's like the one that's oh He's good. So the Most High like okay I'll hear Him. I'm not hearing the rest of you. He's good. I'm hearing Him. But those that, of you that trust and believe in, in Him, you'll be good too. That's the stumbling block, and it's just really that simple. It's, that's the stumbling block. Or that's another stone about rather. Thesaurus, advocate, arbitrator, broker, go between, judge, negotiator, peacemaker. See? So he said, I don't want to go through a mother man. And Charleston is central saying, I don't want to go through a Messiah. I don't want to go through a savior. I, I can go to, to the most high directly, which this is a spirit that's just all throughout the Mr. Jack anyway. Oh, I can go to God myself. He'll hear me. Here it is, y'all don't y'all don't even know what he like. Y'all don't know what the most I like, what he don't like. Y'all just think, oh, I had to go to him myself. Nah, man. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. Hebrews 8 and 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. But how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which is established upon better promises. Hebrews 12, 24, and to Yahweh Shai, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. All right. I don't want to go through another man. I pray to God and I don't have to go through another man. Okay, so you don't want to go through Yahweh Shai? So you're going to cover your own sins? Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Anyway, so, yeah, man, these people don't know what's going on. They don't know what the hell going on. But, yeah, there's always been order, man. You know, when you look at Levi, Levi was uh, one of the sons of Jacob that was separated apart and chosen to be to be the, the priesthood, all right, through his loins. Like, this is going to be the priesthood. These are going to be the people that uh, are going to have direct access to me that the rest of the nation would go through. You would go through the priest. 
And that's even in other spiritual systems. They have priesthoods. They have, you know, and in, in, in voodoo and that Orisha uh, bullshit, they have, uh, you know, uh, what, what you call them? Uh, Babas, Babas, you know, that, that whatever the lingo is. Um, you had that lady who just went to Haiti. I think she went to Haiti to, to, to get more in, in tune with the voodoo stuff. So I'm sure she went to go meet um, one of the, the priesthoods, the priestess or something like that, or priestess or whatever, and they end up getting her. But it's always been an order to this thing. It ain't no just any and everybody can just have access to the highest ranking spiritual, um, you know, authority figure. Uh, in this instance, we're talking about who, who he calls God. So, you know, the scriptures are undefeated. The scriptures debunk all this madness that the world talks. And we can't be confounded as long as we stay within the the uh, the constraints of the truth and the scriptures. So, Lord willingness is out of fine. Shalom.